Australia. Hi guys, okay, uh, we are here in London, and pardon the lighting, man, this is pretty bad. Um, but but I we're at the KMS shoot in London, and I am here with Sam, yes, Sam, say your last name again. Sam, Sam. Uh, Sam Burnett. Sam Burnett and Sana Bredo back over there, and they were doing the coolest thing. This model has a faux fringe that's been glued in, and they were removing it, and Sam says, I've got the best tip on removing it. So for all you professionals out there who have a model who comes in with a glued in, with glued in wefts, here is your tip. And all right, Mr. Sam, go ahead. Okay, so when you need to remove any sort of wefts that have been glued in, um, a really great product to use is the anti-humidity spray. Uh, the reason I like to use this is it just brings it, it loosens up all that glue and it brings the fringe straight out, but it's easy for the model then to wash that out of her hair. Any alcohol-based product works, but I find this one uh, works really nicely. You find it just slips right out of the oh, hair, wow. just like that. Wow, let me see. And what kind of glue was used on that? Uh, this is like, um, Actually, this was just any cheap glue from like the extension shop. Yeah. So any kind of blonding, bonding glue, which is like um, heat sensitive. And ordinarily that would be very difficult to remove. Yeah, it can be very tricky. And the nice thing about doing this as well, it actually removes a lot of the residue from the model's hair. So she's not left having to pick it out at a later date. Oh man. All right, that's so great. All right, so again, you're gonna So do we're gonna another, do the next section. Yeah. It's a bigger section. So hopefully this is gonna be just as easy. But actually, a little tip while we're talking about when you're adding the extensions in the first place, rather than running the glue along the whole length of the extension, just putting small dots, um, especially if you're just using it for a temporary fix, like for a photo shoot, um, because it means that actually it's a lot easier to remove, um, but you still get a nice firm hold while you're working. Okay, and you did something interesting with the end of your uh, tail comb. That yeah. you, you kind of so the, the towel comb just helps to just prize everything oh, away. I saw this being glued in yesterday, and it was being glued in. This yeah, was, absolutely. Uh, meant to last forever. Uh, because <laughs> well, this like would that. last about two weeks. You could even wash this and keep it in if you didn't, uh, if you wanted to. Okay, so another tip of the day we did this yesterday was to create these cornrows to use the uh, to use as a base. Well, the cornrows actually were there just to remove the long hair from the front. And we, we, we braided over the top to make sure the braids were nice and flat, which means the fringe then is gonna look a lot more natural. And we just glue between the braids onto the scalp, so we're not getting too much glue into the hair. Okay, so you're using this KMS, what is it called? It's anti-humidity spray. Anti-humidity spray. Yeah, what, it's a what great product. Would anybody use? Is it an oil this is, spray? Um, oil any spray? kind of oil, elixir oil, or any, any kind of product with a high alcohol content, this actually doesn't have a particularly high content because it's got a nice slip, it works really nicely. But any any alcohol-based product or any oil-based product. So right, after you remove it, uh, after you remove it, say, does it uh, transcend? I couldn't hear that anyway. Does it hurt? Somebody was asking, does it hurt, Miss Model? Did that hurt? Uh, no. Uh-oh. No. <laughs> hesitated a Good little answer. Bit, but I've seen people have it removed and they are you know, without something like this in the air. Yeah, really because look, you can see now, you can see I'm actually removing that glue from the scalp and the hair. So when the model comes home, you can see I've just got it on my comb. We're removing any excess. Because, you know, I think it's really important to look after the models that you work with. And in fact, that means they're going to want to work with you again. And that's going to give you a good name within the industry. This yeah. is great. Any other questions? I'm sorry I missed them before. Where is that tail comb from? All right, the tail comb, where'd you get this that? This tail comb is from YS Park, which is a Japanese brand. Um, but they're very popular with session stylists in the UK and I'm sure all over the world. I've just noticed that the American team are also using a lot of YS Park stuff. Yeah, we have a lot of people. Yeah. So you can see that just combs straight up. Is she natural hair or relaxed? You, this is your hair, right? You don't have any chemicals in your hair? No, actually, um, Suki is a mix of um, Afro-Brazilian and Japanese. So the roots of her hair are actually kind of almost Afro curl, and the ends have been chemically relaxed with, um, with the Kerasilk from Goldwell, the straightening lotion. I have a question. Why did you guys glue in these extensions instead of using clip-ins when you created this fringe in the first place? Uh, the reason that we use glue over clips is that the glue is actually, we can um, get a much more natural finish. And where it's a fringe, it sits a lot flatter to the head and it gives us a lot more scope. We've actually designed this 
to sit in a specific shape, whereas with the clips, you're a little bit more limited. Okay, and I asked this model yesterday, you look so good with that fringe. How come you elected to have it removed? Why didn't you want to keep it? Uh, actually, it's it's nice to look like to keep it, but as I have to work with like my normal hair, it's better to remove. But otherwise, it's nice to stay like a weekend, for example. Yeah, so for a nice little change. Yeah, you, I just wanted you guys to hear her voice. It's so cool. It's such a cool <laughs> accent. Anybody hear you? You've got a cool uh, accent. Do I? Yeah. And you, you've got a cool accent. And you, we spoke to you earlier. We know you got a cool accent. Yeah, the best <laughs> accent. <laughs> He's from Germany. Yeah. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. All right, you guys. Well, thank you so much. That was a really good tip of the day. Cool. Okay. Take right. care, guys. Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. <laughs>